Ice. It makes you feel better when you bump your head. It helps keep your drink cool. It's also very useful for preserving things exactly as they were. That's why when objects are discovered preserved in ice, they give us great insight about how things used to be. About 10% of the Earth's surface is covered in ice, but due to climate change, this proportion is decreasing. We should expect more discoveries of exciting glacial booty soon, but until then, here is our top 10 most mysterious things found frozen in ice. Amazing! Number 10. Life on Mars Because it's rather chilly, Antarctica is relatively untouched by humans. It's also a vast, featureless landscape, which makes it a great place to find meteorites. In 1984, scientists found a meteorite in Antarctica, roughly the size of a potato. In 1996, after 12 years of analysis, scientists from Stanford University and NASA announced that this meteorite originated from Mars and landed in Antarctica around 13,000 years ago. They also announced that the meteorite contained fossilized remains of microscopic life from Mars. This life from Mars existed around 4 billion years ago and resembles single-cell bacteria that we know today. NASA Administrator Daniel Golden said, I want everybody to know that we are not talking about little green men here, which is a shame. We don't know if these bacteria-like life forms still exist today, but the truth is out there. Number 9. Iron Age Hoodie Around 300 AD, someone hanging out on Norway's Lenbreen Glacier took their jacket off and just left it there. This is a kirtle a woolen tunic worn over the head like a hoodie. It was found in 2013 by scientists studying the glacier, which is rapidly melting due to climate change. As it had been encased in ice for over 1,700 years, it was in great condition. They could even tell that the owner had patched it up twice. Very resourceful. Scientists have since speculated why the kirtle had been abandoned. Was it a rare sunny day on the glacier, and did the owner take his tunic off, then forget about it? Or was it an example of a phenomenon called paradoxical undressing? When someone is seconds away from freezing to death through hypothermia, they experience a rush of intense warmth and sometimes take their clothes off. Is this what happened to the Kirtle's owner? Either way, he never got his coat back. Number 8. An Abandoned Nuclear Base They don't call it the Cold War for nothing. In 1959, when hostility between the US and the Soviet Union was at its peak, America built an underground military base in the frozen expanses of Greenland. It housed troops, and it was a potential launch site for nuclear weapons testing. In 1967, the base, called Camp Century, was abandoned. They pretty much left it as it was, thinking anything they left there would be frozen safely in ice, never to be seen again. Unfortunately, they were wrong. Climate scientists believe that the ice around Camp Century will start to melt before the end of the 21st century. This will uncover a massive toxic waste site, including 53,000 gallons of diesel fuel, waste from a nuclear reactor, and tons of sewage. It will seriously damage the environment of Greenland. If you're watching this in the 2200s, leave us a comment to let us know what happened. Number 7. 30,000 Year Old Plants Areas of permafrost are nature's deep freeze, preserving everything they hold perfectly, even if they're in there for 30,000 years. In 2012, in the frozen tundra of Siberia, Russian scientists came across some fruit buried in the permafrost by an Ice Age ground squirrel around 30,000 years ago. These fruits appear to be related to today's narrow-leaf campion plant. The scientists took the fruit back to their laboratory in Moscow and, with some gentle coaxing, were able to grow new plants, which in turn flowered and produced new seeds. A specimen of plant not seen since the Ice Age is now back with us, thanks to science and ice. All great news, but spare a thought for the squirrel who never got to eat that delicious fruit. Number 6. Message in a Bottle We've all heard about messages in bottles. They get thrown into the sea and turn up thousands of miles away. This message in a bottle, however, was found frozen in the Arctic wastelands of northern Canada, and it may have predicted the future. It was found in a pile of rocks arranged by a glaciologist called Paul T. Walker and was placed there in 1959. The message inside asked the finder to measure the distance from another pile of rocks to a nearby glacier. They were then asked to report this distance to Walker at his office in Ohio. In 1959, the distance was 1.2 meters. Walker wanted to see how the glacier would move over time. When the bottle was discovered in 2013, Walker had died, and the distance from the rocks to the glacier was 101.5 meters. The edges of the glacier had melted due to climate change. Did Walker foresee climate change with his message? 
Scientists think not, and Walker was expecting the glacier to actually grow and cover up the rocks. The explorers that found the message in the bottle took a picture of it, then put it back where they found it, ready for someone to discover again, maybe in another 54 years. Number 5. A Frozen Baby Mammoth In 2007, Yuri Kuti, a Russian who bred reindeer on the frozen Yamal Peninsula, found something strange out on the tundra. He knew what it was, a frozen mammoth, and traveled 150 miles to notify his local museum. When he came back with the authorities, he found the baby had been moved and was on display outside a local store. The baby mammoth, now named Liuba after Yuri's wife, was so well preserved by the ice, they could even tell what she had eaten before she died. It's thought she choked to death 42,000 years ago. She is now on display in Salikard, Russia, and she's really cute. Also in Siberia, hunters boating up a stream saw something strange poking out of the ice. It turned out to be Sasha, a baby woolly rhino, dating back around 10,000 years. They liberated Sasha from the ice, and she is now on display in a museum in Sokka, Russia. Number 4. The Ross Sea Photographs in 2013, conservators from the New Zealand Antarctic Heritage Trust were working on restoring an old exploration hut on the Australasian side of Antarctica. In the hut, they found some unprocessed photographic negatives perfectly preserved in blocks of ice. When the negatives were developed and restored, their secrets were revealed. They were photographs taken from the so-called Ross Sea Party, half of famed British explorer Ernest Shackleton's team, that tried to travel to Antarctica in 1914. This group traveled ahead of Shackleton and were supposed to be setting up supply depots for the last part of his journey. However, their ship blew out to sea during a storm, stranding the men on Ross Island. The party were eventually rescued, but three men, including photographer Arnold Spencer Smith, died during the expedition. The photos offered a glimpse into the life of a polar explorer, but it wasn't the only Shackleton-related ice discovery. In 2006, a crate of his whiskey was discovered in an Antarctic hut. The crate was frozen solid by the negative 30 degree temperatures, but the whiskey was still liquid and in good condition. Number 3 a World War I Battlefield In 1916, during World War I, there was a vicious battle between the Italian and Austro-Hungarian armies in the Italian Dolomite Mountains. While there were many casualties during the battle, 10,000 soldiers were killed when there was a series of avalanches in the mountains. This event, on December 13, 1916, became known as White Friday. The bodies of these soldiers were preserved in the ice, but as the earth is heating up, this ice is melting, Bodies are being discovered on a regular basis. Some are so well preserved you can see the bullet holes in their skulls. Artillery, caches of ammunition, as well as uniforms and medals are also found regularly. Today, the Dolomites is a ski area, but these ice discoveries shed light on the suffering that went before. Number 2. A Pike Eating a Bass when brothers Anton and Alex Babic went ice fishing on Wawasee Lake in Indiana in 2017, they caught more than they expected. Worldwide fame. One of the brothers spotted an incredible sight. A pike fish frozen in action, with the head of a big bass fish in its mouth. The bass is about halfway in, the jaws of the pike locked around it. Both fish frozen solid. They took a photo of it and shared it on Facebook. The picture spread around the world, but Facebook being Facebook, many people thought the brothers had faked it. Outraged, the brothers went back to the lake, cut the fish out of the ice with a chainsaw, and photographed it again. They also filmed it to really silence all those doubters. There was wild speculation about how the fish ended up in this state. The most plausible explanation was that the pike tried to eat the bass, but it was too big, so it choked and died. Both dead fish floated to the surface, and as the lake froze over, they were preserved in that dramatic position. That pike really bit off more than he could chew. Number 1. Oatsy the Iceman in September 1991, two German hikers were exploring the Oatstol Alps mountain range when they came across a body poking out of the ice. Thinking it may have been that of a recently deceased mountaineer, they called the authorities. The body was extracted and taken to a lab in Innsbruck, Austria. There, they discovered that this was not a recently deceased body at all. This was a body of a man from around 4,000 years ago and was the oldest known human body ever discovered. The man was nicknamed the Iceman or Oatsy and his discovery became famous around the world. Because his body was so well preserved in the ice, we know a lot about Oatsy. We know he had worms, gallstones, and gum disease. We know he ate goats and pollen. We know he was inked with 50 tattoos on him from head to toe. 
Scientists could also trace Oetze's genes to living people in the Tyrol region of Austria. It's not all fun and games, though. Some say that Oetze's body is cursed. Seven people who were involved in Oetze's discovery, including one of the hikers and the head of the forensic team that examined him, died in mysterious ways. The hiker, Helmut Simon, died walking in a freak blizzard. The examiner, Rainer Henn, died in a car crash on his way to give a lecture about the Iceman. Oetze is now on display in the South Tyrol Archaeological Museum. Go and see him, but don't get too close. Which one did you enjoy hearing about the most? Have you ever found anything interesting frozen in the ice? Leave us a comment to let us know. Thanks for watching.